Yep, yep, yep. What up, people? I'm back. I told y'all I was coming back. Your boy, Big Boosie, man. Street Knowledge Podcast. Once again, shout out to everybody. Shout out to my boy, D-Boss. Boss Baby Entertainment. Make sure y'all go up on his, uh, on his Instagram. Boss Baby Entertainment on, um, on IG. One of my good brothers. Hold things down with me, for me. Got to shout him out. Shout out, what up, sis? I see you, Miss Tish. Oh, um, my sponsor. My boy. Morgan Mace. What a pretty penny. Um... Who else, man? I like to shout shout out my sponsors, man. A lot of people that have been showing me love. Y'all got respect to throttle. What up, Jay Black? I see you. My brother B Pike. Ricky Duke, what up? Baby Marv. My boy P Gates. What's good? Um, who else? It's a few of y'all. <clears throat> if I forgot about y'all this round. My boy J Johnny Hanson. We call him Jay-Z, John Anderson. Mike Anderson, what up? Make sure y'all go and check out our movie, Apollo Soul. I need y'all to hit me on the bottom. Let me know what y'all like about it. It's on Tubi. Make sure y'all check that out. It's real serious. Um, This one right here is called... How beefs get started due to drug deals. And why I say that is it's, 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 it's sad, but it's, it's a must talk about this part one. I'm going you know, to come back and give you a few of them, part two and three, when uh, the time is feasible. But I think this is something that cats need to hear because these are why, these are reasons why some of our black people in our culture that's out there in the mean streets go through beefing and killing one another due to the fact of people don't play the game right, people don't play the game fair, and then somebody end up in a casket for not playing the game fair. And when they are, or should I say when their family having the funerals and things for them, People be saying that was a good guy. Why did it have to happen to him or even her? Even some females get caught up in the mix for not playing a game, how the game is supposed to be played, unfortunately. And these are examples for the young cats to understand what happens when you do wrong out there in the streets and what this game is called for besides going to uh to jail it leads to um somebody losing their life so it was this cat named jay jay was a nigga that gets money and uh and this happened in the, the streets of uh new york so Jay was just chilling. It was a block party one day, and uh, his boy roll up on him. They see each other. And, uh, his boy name is Pop Pop G. And you know, normal typical day at a block party, everybody having fun and chilling, and guys that know each other probably haven't seen each other in a long time. This particular day, they see each other, and they start conversing and asking each other what they've been doing, and start you know exchanging information of what they doing and how they making moves out in the street and all that. So, you know, Pop G was talking to Jay and Jay was like, man, what you got going on? Pop G was telling him how he, he you know, he making moves out of town. And Jay was asking him, you know, what you moving and all that. He tells him what he moving. He was like, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm holding, I'm heavy. Come, come get with me tomorrow after this, man. We could chop it up. And we can do some business, man. I put something in your hand. If you're moving like that, 
You buy something from me, I'll throw you something. So long story short, next day come, they link up, they meet in spot wherever they said they was going to meet at. They linked up. <clears throat> um, Pop G told me he had uh, $2,000. So Jay fronted him $2,000 more of from whatever he was buying. And he asked him how long would it take him to do it. He told him, give him a week, a couple days or whatever. Cool. Give him the work. And Jay was the type of dude, he don't really stress you about calling you every minute, giving you time to do your thing and all that. And it's like, when a guy do that, it's really just showing you seniority that he ain't over your neck like you a little dude or, or he a boss or none of that. He, he gives you time to do what you need to do. So, a couple days go by, a couple days go by, Pop G broke out, wherever he went to out of town, supposed to be doing his thing. Jay ain't thinking nothing of it, doing his normal routine, whatever he do throughout the day and all that. And, you know, he, he, he got it in his mind that he didn't even hear nothing back from Pop G yet. Pop G ain't even say, yo, I'm good. I made it the way I'm going. Everything is smooth. Not even giving an update. Sometimes when, you know, somebody throws you some work, it's just called a courtesy call. Let a person know, yeah, everything going good. And, you know, especially when nobody's on your neck hounding you, man. Those are the, the best type of guys that you would want to deal with or type of female. Even if it's a female give you something, she ain't hounding you or stressing you and all that. So, you know, days go by. So about uh, three days go by. He, Jay realized he ain't heard nothing from Pop G at all. So, you know, he ain't thinking nothing is wrong or nothing. He just was making a call just to see what was up and, you know, how things was going, how things was looking. In his mind, if homie doing right, he come back, he going to double him up, especially if he coming back in a reasonable, uh, in a reasonable time. And that's going down real smooth. So Jay calls. He don't get no answer. He ain't thinking nothing of it. It's you know, sometimes people just be doing things when a person calls them. You never know. He probably I guess banking on Pop G calling them back. So they go by, the day go by. Later on that night, Jake realized he didn't even get a call back. Pop G ain't hit back and say nothing. So he calls again just to see what's going on. Phone ring, phone ring, 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 ring. Go straight to voicemail. Now, you know, he's scratching his head, hoping, hoping homie ain't get popped or busted by the police. He, you know, he's in concern of him now. He's still not thinking nothing crazy as far as Pop G not uh, answering the phone due to the fact of just doing dirty business, he just probably thinking like, well, maybe he's doing something, but, you know, he's still giving them the benefit of the doubt. So, you know, he carried on with his night, whatever, go hang out, go party. After he's partying, go home, lay down, you know, he realizes it's probably two, three in the morning, he ain't even gonna call nobody that late. It, 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 it's still really Three days in, the dude told him, Pop G told him it's a week. He gave him a week and, and maybe a week or some days or whatever. So he ain't thinking nothing of it. Next day, wake up, normal routine. Get up, <clears throat> go and do it, whatever he normally do. Get with his fellas, hanging out, chilling. Then it dawns on Jay again. He still ain't heard back from, from Pop G. So it's like, yo... Now he's calling, and it's ringing, and the phone ringing, 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 and it goes to voicemail once again. So now the concern gets a little bit more um, in, intense with, with, with Jake, you know, thinking about like, yo, hold up, man. What's going on, man? Something ain't right. So now what else is he supposed to think now? Either something wrong 
or Pop G playing games. Because now it's four days now. So, you know, he going throughout his day. Ain't stressing it. It's in his mind, but he ain't stressing it. Phone ringing. He, he looking at it. It ain't who he thinking it is. Because he's, you know, at this point, somebody should have seen the, uh, the, uh, the, should have seen their phone by now and know that somebody's calling them, especially somebody that you're supposed to be doing business with. So out of all due respect, you would at least call back. Out of all due respect, a person's supposed to just call back anyway and just give, you know, an update. What's going on? If it's slow or if it's going to take longer. So now Jay is just, just puzzled now. Long story short, that day go by, he ain't heard nothing. It's day five now. Mind you, seven days is, is really a week. And a week was normally a, a, a guesstimated time of when he might be finished. And what, what most people don't understand is when somebody give you something and front you something, you're supposed to, whenever, as soon as you get that money, you're supposed to take care of the person that fronted you something first. And you worry about getting yours on the back end. Most cats are always worrying about getting their money first and then pay the person who looked out for them on the back end. And that's normally what takes longer. But, so, day five go by. Jay wonder now, day six, he's calling and blowing the phone up. And the phone's still ringing, going to voicemail. Going to voicemail. Now he's, he's starting to feel like he's being played. Now, he's sitting back wondering, like, is this dude locked up or is he playing? But his phone is ringing. If he locked up, if the police got it, if he locked up, the police would have the phone and normally the phone would be off by this time. So he called and called, he, 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 he called three, four times back to back, still no answer. So now he's getting furious and feeling disrespected because now he's feeling like the phone is on. That means he have to be out in the world. He's not locked up. So Pop, he out of town having a ball, doing whatever he want to do. Spending money, looking like a big dog, not realizing he's digging it to the profits, not re realizing he's digging it to what he owes the guy. And nine times out of ten, he's down to the money that he really had from the beginning to spend with a person. So now he's definitely not answering the phone. So now... Jay is what, day six, day seven? Jay was wondering like, yo, man, that's crazy. So what Jay does, he asks one of his homeboys, yo, let me use your phone for a minute. He gets his homeboy phone, which is an unrecognizable number, to Pop G, and he calls the phone, and guess who answers? Pop G answers. And Jay, yo, yo, what's up, man? Yo, who this? This is Jay. How you ain't asked the phone? Oh, oh, yo, man. Uh, yeah, you know, I was caught up, man. My phone was in the crib. And, you know, I, I was running around. I, I didn't have a phone. All right, but, but when you was going to give me a call? I was going to call you, man. So when you coming back? I don't know. I'll let you know in a, in, in a couple days, man. Uh, uh, just give me like two, three more days. All right, cool, man. Two, three days go by. He called the phone, no answer, no answer. Call from another number, no answer. Now Pop G know that, <laughs> no numbers, he ain't gonna answer the phone. So now homie furious now. Now Jay furious, because now he know he's being played. He know he's being played. So now he gets to the point where he ain't going to keep calling the phone no more. And see, this is how things work. 
and how karma catch up to you. Big party going on in the city. Everybody going to the party. Everybody's going to the party. So Jay and his crew, they up in there. They chilling, popping bottles, having fun. Look who walks in. Pop G walks in. Jay don't say nothing. He walks over. He don't say nothing. Pop, he watched Pop G go in there. And uh, he going hitting the ball, him and his crew up in there. He goes in and uh, he see uh, Pop G at the bar buying bottles and all that. And see, that's where things go wrong and hit the fan. So now Jay is furious, step over to him. Yo, yo, what's up, homie? You, you ain't let me know you back. What's up with that money and that, that thing? Oh, yo, I got you. Some things happen. And um, I got to, you know, I got to, I, I, I still got money out there in the street. But, yo, it's been way more than the days you said and you gave me and you said you got a few more days. Yeah, I know. So now Pop G telling up, telling them all kind of other fake stories and all that. So Jay upset. He don't say nothing no more. Now his party and, 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 and his night of fun and he upset now. He telling his crew what's going on, and he's still watching him, and the crew watching. Homie going back to the bar, buying more bottles. And got the bottles flowing in through, through the bottle girls to him and all that. So if you sitting back, you can kind of count what 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 the uh the money from the bottles being spent. And him and his, his, his boy in there, they having fun. Him and his boys having fun doing his thing. So Jay and they're furious now because that money that you spent on bottles, you could have been a real man and say, yo, I know I owe you $2,000. He go five, six hundred on that. I got something in the street. At least you're showing some type of respect. Even if you're lying and did have all the money, you still could have did that. But you making up stories about some money you owe. And then Pop G, I guess he felt that. He ain't got to pay him unless he have, it, have all the money. And then he considering that money is his money that he's buying bottles with. And see, that's, that's, that's where a lot of cats go wrong out here in the streets. When they get something fronted to them, they think that, that they have an excuse and they think they slick every time. And they think that they don't have to give that person the money. So money that do get messed up, they want to use that as an excuse of that being the person who gave them the work. That's their money that got messed up. But it, it doesn't work that way. Because if their money get messed up, if you still have something left over that which was considered your money, you have to pay them out of your money. Because if they didn't give you nothing and the money got messed up, yeah, that would have been your money anyway from the whole beginning. But a lot of cats don't see it that way. They'd rather the guy who front them something take the loss and they come up with a story later but still want to have fun and reap benefits and party and, and, and all that and spend money and tell that person that that's their money that got messed up. So now Jay in there and his boys watching, they coming to Jay, making them, making them more irritated and saying, yo, man, we, I'm just over there, man, I'm watching them slip money in the girls' waist and all that. Sit down laughing and, and, and smoking blunts and rolling up. So now he heated. So what y'all think next going to happen? Jay go send one of his boys outside, go meet him, go get that thing. Let me know you outside in the front with it. By the time it's over, because I'm gonna keep my eyes on him. When I come outside, make sure y'all hand me, make sure you hand me that thing. That's it. Homeboy go outside. Pop G in there still having fun. Buying, buying liquor and all that. Then what's next? It's time to go. So Jay, he, you know, he keeping a distance, but he's uh 
He's making sure he's staying close to home, boy. He hit his homie on the phone. Where you at? Homie hit him, told him, yeah, I'm outside. I'm in the front. You got that with you? Yeah, I got that. So now, um, so now Pop G, you know, they rolling out, whatever. Jay keep it close. He knows boy outside by the door. As he see Pop going, you know, towards the door, he walks out faster and get in front of Pop, get outside and got that and grab the thing from his boy. Jay standing at the door, who walks outside. Pop G and his boys, he ain't thinking nothing of it. He's smiling and, you know, they talking and having fun and saying whatever they about to do and all that. Next thing you know, gunshots. Gunshot. Everybody scattering. Everybody running. Everybody gone. Everybody taking cover. His homeboys ain't got no gun on them. Nothing to even help him. Jay done laid him out. Him and his team break out. Make it back to they block. Put the thing up. Put it wherever, I guess, wherever they put, you know, their things at. <clears throat> and now they starting to hear, you know, the phone ringing off. Yo, so-and-so got killed outside. Pop G got killed in front of the building, in front of the club. So that's going all through through the town now, and um, now his family got to go down there. Once the smoke clears and everything, his family got to go down there because he's dead on the scene and go and see that loved one out there dead on the ground. Now, Long story short, they go claim the body. They start saying, who would want to do this? Pop G was a good dude, give you the shirt off his back. Why would somebody do something like this to him? This is crazy. Now your family is in, in, in disbelief that you're really gone and you know, you might have been a good dude to certain people and all that. You just didn't conduct your business the correct way. And when you're doing incorrect business in the streets, unfortunately, this is what happens. It costs you your life because you want to play with somebody else's money. And you have no respect and no regards towards them being, um, being, a real person to throw something your way to try to help you elevate to the next level in doing what you're doing. Even though it's street business, don't get it twisted. The story for the young cats that's out there that's hustling, that think that it's cool to play with people money and think that it's cool that they don't have to pay a person because it ain't coming out of their pocket. They don't understand that if the money really do get messed up, you have to pay that. But they don't want to pay it because they feel like now their money going to be low and they're done. That person supposed to take the loss when they was really looking out for you to make some money. So you, it's all only right that you pay them out of your pocket because if they never gave you nothing, it would have been your money missing or gone in the first place. So what is smart to do would be to pay that person and act like nothing never happened and get something else from that person and go back and try make you some money and make your money back and pay that person. Just don't let that mistake that happened, that just happened, happen again and continue your journey and do big business and good business and it will save a life. But now you're in the casket and you probably don't even really have the money it takes to bury you. Your family have to take on that burden now. So this is just a quick story for my, my young boy, even some of y'all grown men out here doing business that's doing it like that and doing it dirty. 
It, it doesn't work like that. So this is just a quick story that I wanted to give you all how a person or people lose their lives doing um, dirty uh, drug business deals and how quick the ball can just drop at the drop of a dime just due to the fact of you playing with somebody else's money. And then you want to come up with a reason in your mind that what you're doing is not wrong. And now, unfortunately, you're laying in a casket and your family, your kids have to suffer and take that, 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 that loss with you and with the whole rest of the family, man. That's not good. So, yeah, this is part one. I got another one for y'all. I'll be back. Y'all hit me under the comments and let me know what y'all think about this. Let me know if y'all know people that's been through this situation or if you was in the streets before. Um, you are familiar with the territory with this story because these stories is real. And I'm going to bring y'all some more of these stories, man. And the moral is, y'all young cats, either leave the streets alone or play the game correct. And that's all the way going down with if you get locked up. Be ready to handle your time. If not, leave the streets alone. Because this is what comes with it. And it's just that simple as that for you to lose your life, man. So y'all take that and marinate on that, man. All my newcomers, subscribe. Hit that notification button so y'all know when the next episode pop up. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Please share, share, and share. Because everybody need to hear this. Everybody need to hear these type of stories. Because it's really real. And I'm only going to give it to you real. Hit me up on my Instagram. At the real Big Boosie. And thanks to those who donating. And for donations. Hit me at Money Sign Bernard Riggin. R-I-G-G-I-N. Your boy Big Boosie. I'm out. But I'll be back. I got some more for y'all man. For real.